Annie Parker Confidential. Welcome to my home in Solana Beach, California, and welcome to my gym where I'd love to have you here to work out with me. All right, so today, super fast, we're going to do a very quick ab workout, but it is effective. We're doing our transverse muscles and we're doing these slide obliques, which give you this little dent on the side. This is part of my summer workout and light recipe series. So you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to my channel below and get notified of all my workouts and healthy, light, yummy recipes all summer long. Okay, no equipment required. If you do have a set of weights, grab them and I'll show you where you can incorporate them, but it's totally up to you. Okay, let's get this done because we're heading to the beach after this. Grab your weights, grab a bottle of water, put your hair on a pony and let's get to doing abs. Okay, ladies, we're back. We're gonna get started with standing side dips. This is gonna work our side obliques, and we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. I will use a set of weights for these. You do not have to use any weights. Grab them if you want. Feet, hip distance apart. Hand on your side, and we're just going to bend, straighten. We're gonna do 30 seconds. Pretend like you are between two slices of bread, like a sandwich, because you want to just go to the side and over and back. Side. The weight is what's going to cause you to really engage this part of your ab. And if you want more challenge, put your hand on your shoulder. Even more challenge, hand to your head, it adds Again, you don't have to have a weight for this. You can just do it without. Keep going. Pull back. We'll work with this side of our muscle right here. Good job. Nice. We're going to do 30 seconds each side. Really want to feel this. It's not how low you go, it's how much you're working with this. Alright, we're going to switch sides, next 30 seconds, go. Back up. And again, less challenge, arm by your side. More challenge, hand on your shoulder. Most challenge, hand on your head. Nice work. Really crunch your abs. Feel like your ribs are knit together. Last one. Nice work, okay? Now we're gonna go into alternating bird dog crunches. I want you on your hands and knees. Extend opposite arm and leg, and we're going to pull in and crunch. This is where we're crunching, and extend. Pull in and crunch. Notice that I'm arching my back slightly so that I can crunch and out. 30 seconds, go. Really work on crunching. I want you to feel your abs engaged. Switch sides, opposite arm and leg again. Extend, no, let me face this way for you, and go. Notice that I'm crunching with my elbow to my knee in the middle. Elbow to knee. Really working on crunching those abs. Almost there. Three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, next exercise. Side plank with a thread through. So you're gonna get on the side and a side plank. Arm in the air. And we're going to thread the needle and back up. Ready, go. This is working my side oblique muscles again, and my transverse. <sighs> Excellent. 
add a weight if you like, a very light weight in this hand if you like, but this is pretty challenging. Three, two, one. Switch side. Don't stop. Plank on the other side. Arm up and go. to do side oblique dips. So you're going to get into a forearm plank, squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, and we're going to dip one hip to the side and then to the other side. We're alternating. So we're getting your side obliques and your transverse muscles again. Ready? Go. My hip touches each side. You should feel this on your side. These are called side oblique dips. These are one of my favorites. They're really effective. Be sure to keep your body straight like an ironing board. Perfect. Nice work. Okay, Russian twists. If you have a weight, you can use it. If not, no problem. Sit on your butt. It's gonna work your transverse and your obliques again. We're gonna lean slightly back and we're going to twist side to side. More challenge, lift your feet up. Even more challenge, feet up with the weight. Ready and go. 30 seconds. Lean slightly back because you want to engage your abs. They should feel like they're knit together so that you're engaging them. Working that abs. Nice work. Almost there. Nice. Last one. Okay, now V up on your back, arms straight ahead, and we're just going to V up, down, ready, and go. My hands touch my toes in the middle. are hard. If you need to just do one at a time, that's fine. Mountain climbers. Get into a plank position. Cross knee to elbow. Opposite arms and legs. This is really crunching your ass. Opposite arm. These aren't fast, they're slow. Because I want you to really feel your abs. This isn't cardio, this is abs. So you're going slower so I can really feel my abs engaging.
Nice work, ladies. Okay, last one. Nice work. Bicycle crunches. All right, on your back. Hands behind your head. Knee to elbow, opposite knee to elbow. Your foot never touches the ground. Ready, go. Opposite knee to elbow. Notice my foot is never touching the ground because I want to keep my abs constantly engaged. Nice work, these are hard. Good job. Three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, that's it. Give it a quick stretch. Arms over your head. Legs out, just stretching out your abs. Maybe do a quick side to side stretch. Excellent work, ladies. Add this with one of my cardio workouts. Do it on its own. Anytime you want. These are exercises that you can do every single day. You can do your abs every day. Do them all throughout the summer and you will get nice and toned. Be sure to watch your diet too. All right, for all things health, wellness, healthy living, beauty, style and fitness, visit me on the blog at aparkerconfidential.com and I'll see you on the blog.